The Ministry of Trade and Industry is responsible for building the export capacity of the local non-energy sector. Positioning Trinidad and Tobago as the business and trade hub in the Caribbean while stimulating domestic and foreign investments. I am Paula Gopi Schoon, and it's my pleasure to share some accomplishments over the past five years which have impacted the well being of citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. The Trade Policy 2019 2023 Towards Sustainable Economic Growth and Diversification was launched in September of 2019. It will enhance competitiveness, accelerate economic and export diversification, and increase the foreign exchange rate potential in many areas. Exports in the non-energy sector have grown 22% and a manufacturing policy was completed in 2020. Completed the Marugo Agro-Processing and Light Industrial Park, which is the first state-of-the-art facility over 18 acres with five custom-built factory shells for the manufacture and processing of agriculture products with high export potential. Local bear, paints and cosmetics can now be found on the shelves in Cuban markets. Conducted strategic missions to 17 key countries, including Jamaica, Guyana, the Dominican Republic, Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama and Canada, in which over 180 companies participated and which generated new exports. In April 2017, a new investment approval and facilitation framework led to investments of over $4 billion and over 1,690 jobs in the non-energy sector. Twelve small and medium-sized businesses have accessed over $1 million TT in grants from the Grant Fund facility, established in 2018 to assist them in becoming globally competitive, and a steel band manufacturing Grant Fund facility was launched in January of 2020. 26 local designers were beneficiaries of the Bespoke Tailoring Certificate Program. 15 are now in the Train the Trainers Program. The Fashion Value Chain Incentive Program was launched in 2017. Of 99 designers trained, 8 increased sales between 11 and 44% and 1 increased by 135%. Music 137 performers were booked and 669 performances were recorded at various venues through a live music district project launched in March of 2018. Film 21 international films generated over $16 million in 2019, 495 jobs were created and 198 rooms booked. Film TT developed a suite of online tools including a production guide, a location database and a production directory. Over $12 million in claims were resolved between 2015 and 2019, in part due to the National Consumer Policy 2018-2023, and a Memorandum of Understanding was signed with the Tobago House of Assembly to enhance consumer protection in the sister aisle. Since the National E-Commerce Strategy was implemented, 180 small business persons were sensitized to the benefits of incorporating e-commerce into their businesses, and 120 micro, small and medium-sized enterprises received training in the intricacies of getting their businesses online. The Ministry has implemented automated approvals at the Trade Licensing Unit and online payments at the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. A yachting policy 2017-2021 was implemented with the intent of increasing the sector's contribution to GDP and enhanced national competitiveness. Invest TT facilitated investments in coal stacking and transshipment under the government policy formulated by the Ministry of Works and Transport. 2020 has brought unique challenges to all sectors here in Trinidad and Tobago and around the world. At the Ministry of Trade and Industry, we continue our commitment to contribute to the reigniting of the economy as swiftly as possible. Thank you. This was a production of the Ministry of Communications.